for 10 seconds each leg, three reps per set, three sets total for each of those two drills. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to our medicine ball drills. These are very simple drills that are going to be used for developing dynamic flexibility in our body as well as giving us a little bit of strength and a small conditioning component. First drill is one we would call total body extension. Total body extension, we're just going to start straddling the ball. We're going to reach down and grab the ball. We're going to have pretty relaxed arms. We want our lower body to drive this exercise. Again, since we're working on many components here at once, you're always going to want to give a little bit of condition control because it's going to be kind of a fast moving drill, but you also want to do it at a speed which you're able to do it proficiently. And basically the guideline for doing this proficiently, as I'll show you here, is when you come, so all you're going to do is bend knees and hips, nice relaxed arm, and I'm going to extend the hips forward, arms are coming overhead. It almost naturally happens. Your arms aren't going to really have to do any work to lift that ball ahead if we're thrusting our hips forward. And again, just like with the plank hold, just like the lunge hold, it's imperative for us to squeeze here. Otherwise, we're going to start to get some tension in that low back, and it's absolutely what we don't want. Find that happening, stop the drill, reset for a moment. You may, may even want to give yourself just a little bit of practice of putting your hands on your cheeks and squeezing them forward. That's the action we're looking for. Then we add a little knee bend, and we can accelerate overhead. That's what we call the total body extension. We're going to start with sets of 20 of those. Work, on the way up, work our way up into the 40 repetition range. This is a pretty light ball. Uh, for most men that are of larger size, 180 pounds and above, this is going to be a good start. This is a 12 pound ball. If you need something lighter, like a six pound ball or something like that, if you're female, that would maybe be a good place to start. But again, we're going to start with 20 repetitions and work our way up to 40 with this drill. Like I said, if you start to experience any of that low back pain, you're not clenching your cheeks, go ahead and go back to something kind of remedial, just hips back and squeeze forward. Our next drill is what we call a lateral lunge. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Again, we're using, working on leg strength here and a little bit of leg flexibility. So we're going to start with our feet together. We're going to hold the ball at chest level. We're going to take a big step. For most of you, this means a step as big as you think you need to take, plus six inches. For me, since I've done this a few times, I've got it pretty much right. Then, for once I've taken that step, I'm going to shift my weight towards that leg. I'm not just bending my knee. As you can see, I'm really putting a lot of shear on that knee. Knee can go forward. It just can't go forward in this instance without the hip helping out. So it has to be butt back, bend knee, touch down. Okay. Very critical. We kind of have this part. You can see the hips back and away. If you can't get clear to the ground and touch down initially, that's fine. Just go as well as you can, but we have it's imperative, and in our daily life, especially too, that we shift weight because we shift weight from one foot to another on a daily basis and a daily activity basis. We're shifting about 90% of our weight to this leg right here. If you can only get to this level and come back, we're going to come all the way back each time because I want you to practice going out and then practice coming back. So we're going to step out. The other imperative portion for the flexibility component of this drill is to keep this back leg straight. You're going to get a massive stretch. And if you have really tight what we call adductors, which is inside of your leg, you're going to really feel it here. Don't be afraid of that. Concentrate on some nice deep breaths and let it happen. Come on back up. Again, do it to the best of your ability. If you can't reach to the ground each time and come up, then don't do it. But if you can't do that well. If you're getting over here and you're awkward around, and you're bending this back leg, don't do that. Just come on over. Do what you can do with a straight leg. Make sure your back weight's on the heel, hips back. Good tall chest posture. We're not leaning over. We're using our leg when we shift our weight to it to change elevation. Touch down, come back. Again, very important, just like I said before, to come back each time because we want to practice that movement. Out here, we can just kind of be lazy and slop through it. If here, we have to think about stepping out. There's, we're adding steps to it. I know you may not want to think about your exercise, but it's important for it to come, for us to get the benefit to carry over into our daily lives. Next medicine ball drill is what we call pick up and rotate. Again, this is a pretty simple drill. We're going to start with the ball on one side of our body, and what's going to happen is we're going to move in a diagonal angle up and across. Take one step back real quick. On those lateral lunges, we're going to do 10 repetitions on each leg. So we're going to do 20, starting with 20 total body repetitions, moving towards 40. We're going to start with 10 lateral lunges, moving towards 20 repetitions. Pick up and rotate. Pretty simple. Again, we're going to squat down, pick up the ball, up and away, back down. Just like that. That's one repetition. 
With this drill, you really want to concentrate on keeping everything square to the front. Hips back, bend knees, so let the whole body carry the load. Stand square to the front, pick up the ball, up and away. You see I pivot a little bit off my back foot, come back down, just reverse the cycle. If you're not quite as flexible as I am, you can use something as simple as a box. Give yourself a little elevation of the ball. Hips back, pretty easy to pick up, even for somebody that's very inflexible. Up and away. This is pretty simple. You know, again, work on picking the ball up with your legs, keeping the trunk tight, keeping good posture, not bending over and flexing from the back and picking it up and torquing. So square to the front, good posture, sit down. If you can just sit down and properly in the chair. Sit down, pick up ball, up and away. So that's our pick up and rotate. Pick up and rotate, we're going to start with 10 repetitions on each side of the body and work towards 20, just like the lateral lunge. So those are the three, di three drills of our dynamic flexibility, strength, and a little bit of conditioning component of this, of this workout. Three cycles through. So three sets of total body extensions, three sets of lateral lunges, three sets of pick up and rotate for the appropriate, lunge, or the appropriate rep schemes that I mentioned before.